Oh my gosh, who is that? We haven't seen her in ages. Look who's back from the grave. Oh my goodness, hello everyone. What an insane year this has been. I finished my first year doing a fashion woman's wear degree with no experience zero but i made it through with a bunch more tattoos half my brain cells and a better sense of style so what's more important honestly living in london for 10 months and also like constantly being around like artistic and expressive people has altered like my style and my confidence so much like i try a lot of things i would never usually think of and it's not judged much because you're around people who really love fashion and expressing themselves also london is so different from living in like a field which is where i currently am because i'm back home we're currently house hunting and oh my god it is stressful hence why i'm consuming ungodly amounts of caffeine again even though my therapist told me not to well how do you expect me to get through the day then on that note i have a lovely little haul for you today this is some bits that i've picked up in london being an obnoxious fashion student means i have to look for designer on a budget because london is expensive and also art degrees are expensive my bank account is crying so this is like a little summer 2023 haul of some bits i've picked up for the last like four months we got some designer we got some small businesses we got some things that were gifted and yeah this is all bits that's kind of helped grow my personal style a little bit more because i'm only 20 i don't know what the hell i'm doing i have an identity crisis every three months just gotta move past it and just try and look cute even though we don't know who we are and that's fine. Jesus, I didn't realize this video was turning into like my therapy session already, but nonetheless, here we go. I'm thinking we start with tops because I'm literally wearing one of them right now. This is from Imprint We Trust. Oh, that is so hard for someone who have braces for three years. And they do the most perfect little graphic baby tees. I also got this one with a little bow on it that I wore to the Barbie movie. But yeah, these tops honestly just fit amazing. They are literally the perfect little like graphic baby tee. It kind of comes just under your belly button. Longer cropped fit, not like a 2016 crop, like a nice crop you know what i mean i'm really loving like ruching at the moment you'll see that with some pieces later in the video picked up this little ruche top from i really love ruby over on depop she hand makes these herself it's just like super randomized ruching and it obviously obviously it stretches out so it can like fit you and i believe she uses like upcycled shirts and stuff definitely keep your eyes out for her next drop because i love these so much like i've styled it here before speaking of which if you want to keep up to date with what i'm wearing slash what i'm doing because i forget to post on here here is my tiktok and here is my instagram they're both linked in the description knock yourselves out we're heading on to the first designer piece now this was a cheeky purchase very happy nonetheless it's this little mew mew ringer style tee i just love the graphic on the back it's giving like the kind of sporty jersey vibes that are super trendy right now and i'm just loving mew mew at the moment like it's probably one of my favorite bigger designer brands i really love the piping around like the neckline and the sleeves and everything but yeah did i spend way too much much money on what is essentially a white graphic t-shirt yes do i can no then i was lucky enough to be gifted this absolutely gorgeous holiday print tank top from her reign this honestly fits so well again it comes down to that like nice longer fit and it just like <coughs> sucks me in it sucks me in and i feel confident it's also very flattering on the double a batteries so you know what i have no complaints i'm also lucky enough to have been gifted some insane graphic tees from alexei founded the streetwear brand river god and started a new one called delinquents i think it hasn't got any like of the vowels but my brain like managed to figure that out after like a good 20 minutes of staring at it and they are some super sick graphic tees and this is the black one i mean if you're getting sick of seeing the stussy logo everywhere or um unethically made overproduced graphic tees from fast fashion brands check them out because this is so much better than anything you're gonna find there okay so we all know i have like a slight obsession for cute pointless things miffy sunny angels jelly cats it's it's all there i bought the most insane hand knitted vest I'm still not over it. I haven't worn it out yet properly because it's like my baby and I do not want to destroy it. But this is so cute and it actually matches. Wait, hold on. It literally matches my own little Miffy. You cannot tell me that isn't the most adorable thing. We're matching. I literally, the brand name is like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite remember. So this is, that is the brand. And she was so lovely and said that it was like inspired by me. And I was like, oh my God, I get to own the first one. I feel so honored. So yeah, that was super flipping adorable. I know she's doing a bunch more drops so go go hunt them out go get them because it's just so freaking cute i've just been loving that like sheer layered long sleeve top look there was like a mew mew camp 
campaign there we go there's me talking about Miu Miu again there was a Miu Miu campaign which had that kind of vibe I was like oh this is like so perfect I need to find me one so I was hunting on Vinted and I came across this one and it's so perfect like a little black bra underneath like some chain belts or some necklaces or something like it's so yes and it's almost kind of like a cover-up for my tattoos as well and then i looked at the brand and this is actually like worth over a hundred pounds and i paid like four pounds for this all that like studying is all over because she wants to get out of her enclosure and i can't do that yet because it's not warm enough outside and is this the last thing for tops i think it is i've been like obsessed with the kind of off the shoulder boat neck style tank tops like super similar to like the paloma wool peachy den style one but i went hunting on vintage because I was like, you know what? I bet you someone is selling something super similar. And then I found this one with little bows and ruching. That is so cute. Are you kidding me? Like, of course I found some with bows on. Of course I did. I was honestly super lucky with that find. I think it was like literally seven pounds. Steal. Deal. Honestly, was super excited about that and it just fits really nicely. It's kind of that like slap sheet I don't care. I'm not trying but I'm actually trying super hard moving on I know everybody is loving bloomers right now and not to be like that person But like I've had bloomers since November 2020 to like just saying <laughs> But it was also really hard to find them anywhere because no one was kind of like on the hype yet. However, comma, now everyone is kind of on their bloomer bandwagon and I'm so here for it. And I've actually been able to buy some like nicer ones. So first up with these little bloomers that I got off of Depop. They're just kind of like frilly at the bottom. I like layering them. So having them peeking out under like a pair of shorts or jeans or something because it just kind of adds a little bit more interest to the outfit. And also I can like pull them up and suck in my food baby. So that's always a plus then i was also lucky enough to get my hands on a pair of melissa tida bloomers i got them in all black obviously because i am still a little emo at heart yes i did used to be like emo but also they're just really great to wear under skirt so you don't accidentally flash anyone um on the tube which is always a plus because i get so nervous now dover street market were having a sale i have wanted a chipotle winter skirt for so long however i was not loving the 800 pound plus price tag because that is literally about a month's worth of my rent so however this was 70 percent off and i love a bargain because i never pay for anything full price because why pay full price when you don't have to so i got my hands on this gorgeous denim carabiner midi skirt i know the pleated like plaid slash floral ones are a lot more popular however this is a little bit more my speed as i don't necessarily wear a lot of color like i'm a black white and denim girl if you couldn't tell from this video already but this is just so cute i get so many compliments on this i've worn it out a few times already it's quite loud and i cannot wait to flex it at uni next year one of my course mates from uni picked one up and i was just obsessed and she gave me the final push to bite the 300 pound bullet <gasps> sticking on the theme of extortionally priced denim skirts i had a little Miu Miu vintage find it literally came in the Miu Miu bag which my boyfriend ripped we aren't going to talk about it i'm still angry but i've wanted a denim maxi skirt for ages and this one is so flowy and it's going to be perfect for like autumn and winter because it's going to actually be warm Mew Mew logo there. I can imagine like some kind of more simple toned down fits with this. This might not be like that exciting, but I just got a pair of like Adidas track shorts. These are in a medium. Um, mainly because I saw this photo on Pinterest and I was just like obsessed. I needed that. Like I love the kind of slouchy look with a little ballet flat, cute sock, giant bag. And then finally I did a little collaboration with Go Thrift and they sent me these perfect like actually perfect bermuda shorts jorts i love the wash of these i love the fading the waist is perfect like they have the best kind of slouchy fit for a jort and i'm obsessed they are literally so perfect for summer and i have been wearing them every day i can because even though it is august the sun has been non-existent which is so depressing thanks england okay so moving on to jackets um there's not there's not a lot of them this time as it is summer i got a few like lightweight ones they're like starting off with a a little mix of both i got the peachy den sets it came with a jacket and a skirt i love tartan so much like tartan print or like gingham print and i wanted some more like funky jackets as i pretty much only own like denim jackets this is just so adorable it has this like lush ruching on the sleeves here i've worn this quite a few times i always get so many compliments and then i also got the little matching
watching mini skirt and i'm not normally a mini skirt person like i'm not one to show off my legs i don't really like them i think i have american girl doll legs but never mind together they're just so cute like a big boot as well it's it's perfect and you can also wear them separately and it's fine this is what i love about a set you can mix and match or you have a pre-made outfit and it's lazy and it's great because even though I go to a fashion school doesn't mean I don't want to show up in my pyjamas sometimes because I'm just a uni student at heart also from my collaboration with Go Thrift I got this super cool gingham like racing jacket from G Star this is actually such a good brand to search on Vinted if you're looking for like kind of that more like edgier motorcycle like style love wearing it with like my little bloomers and like a black boot as well like it's just perfect Fine for jackets i got this double zip little adidas cropped one as i mentioned i'm like short as hell and normally these jackets come down like kind of as a really awkward length but i got this cropped one and it just sits perfectly below my belly button it's got that like slightly cropped almost like baby tee style fit but it's a bit baggier and yeah again can't believe i hadn't owned one of these before yeah and it's double zip who doesn't love a double zip? That is it for the jackets. Now we're getting on to the shoes. Kind of gone a little bit crazy with the shoes recently. I have too many pairs, but also you can never have too many pairs of shoes. So you all know like a sporty kitten heel has been like a really cool trend. It's been about for a while now. Like she's been places, she's been around. Found these adorable little diesel ones. Ta-da, they're almost like mules as well on eBay for like 40 quid which for diesel and for something like this which on depop would go for 150 i was i was not complaining they haven't done the dreaded vintage shoe peeling yet but maybe that is somewhere in my horizon but we are enjoying them for now i love them kind of with a jean rather than a skirt because i feel like if i wear them with a skirt i feel a little bit too exposed speaking of secondhand finds i have been looking for a cowboy boot for maybe two years now it's never been right it's always been like too short on my legs or not been the right size or not been the right color and i was like oh when am i gonna find this perfect like cowboy boy riding boot buckle boot thing and then these absolutely gorgeous shoes came along so they have the like cowboy fit bottom and top as well but they're like almost a knee-high boot like they are they are some tall boots and that does justice for my tiny little legs like these are gorgeous that detailing on the side with the little o-rings is so nice and i'm obsessed with them and i have worn them so much already and i again really hope and pray that the vintage shoe demon doesn't come along and peel it and ruin it because that is that is the risk when you're buying secondhand shoes okay so this is a very rare non-secondhand non-small business purchase for me i've been wanting black trainers for a while i don't actually own any like actual black trainers i'd say the kind of closest thing is my hold on i'm right here the closest thing i have to a black trainer are my little cok ballet pump trainer mix hybrid things love these by the way but i didn't own a black trainer and then one of my favorite designers at the moment did a collab with asics this was justice for me missing out on the sandy liang salamons still don't talk to me about it i'm so gutted after trying three times yes three times i was that desperate i managed to get my hands on the cecily vanson a6 collab shoes tell me this isn't the most gorgeous stunning sexy thing you have ever seen like the detailing you can like see my fingers in there i don't know why that's why i'm showing you but you get the point such an adorable shoe such a cute mix between like a ballet shoe and a trainer again maybe i just have an obsession with that now both of my black trainers are a mix of that but you know what i do not care this was like my first successful sneaker drop and i just i felt so proud of myself because <laughs> that never happens to me i do not have any luck when it comes to stuff like that like i will just have to hunt and find it on ebay later okay so finally we have accessories first up is this little heart pendant necklace because i've been seeing them everywhere i got it from finds world when they were having like a little bit of a sale so i picked that one up i don't like huge bead statement necklaces i like kind of just a simple little statement necklace and also when there's like lots of little beads and it's such a cool design like i love those because i pretty much wear my little measuring tape one every day uh then on the theme of like jewelry i also got these super cute little bow earrings like they are giant but they are so pretty we know i have so many piercings and so much jewelry i get most of my jewelry from benicay jewelry they do the best earrings that don't tarnish 
honest, like I'm too lazy to take stuff out. I do the bare minimum always and they are still slaying. Oh yeah, and these ones are from the Suzy Lola collab. I also picked up this little chain belt from Depop just cause I just really love the like organic style shape. And I've been pairing it with this little cowboy belt that I got of Vinted that is originally Miss Selfridge, I think. Um, it is peeling a little bit, the dreaded vintage demons, but again, it still looks really cute and they go so nicely together. So I love wearing them like that. It's two for one there, two for one. This is kind of a good segue cause it's like a belt bag like it's it's a belt bag so i recently went on like a little few days trip to barcelona with one of my friends and we stumbled into this store and found this vintage guess like utility belt tell me this isn't perfect for festivals like this is perfect for festivals it like almost kind of looks like a gucci print but it's not it's guess i've been looking at utility belts i know paloma wool has one but i literally as we can see from this video i've long blown my budget on anything like that but i literally cannot wait to wear to a festival i think this is gonna be so perfect and then also whilst in barcelona we stumbled upon this vintage store that was when i tell you swimming in coach bags i mean swimming in vintage coach bags and i absolutely had to just pick up this blue denim one like it was just too perfect i'm not normally a handbag girly like i'm a crossbody bag girly but this was just so cute and it's quite large as well so it might be good for like going out when i have to bring like everything with me because i am the mum friend i'm the one who has pastas i'm the one who has tissues i'm the one who ends up holding everyone's phone like i am the mum friend when we go out hands down and finally jimmy fairly sent me a few pairs of sunglasses i decided to get these little purple ones because they kind of gave me like a cute little vintage feel and i pretty much only wear like wraparound ones and yeah i was just trying these out i think they're quite cute i don't normally wear like a lot of color so i was like oh you know what we're gonna experiment a little bit and then i also got these like absolutely huge black ones which i think are so sick like my mom had a really similar pair that she always wore when we were growing up and it just reminds me of that but as someone who likes little sunglasses like these were these were some for like an experiment but you know what i she really like them but yet to style them but i expect that'll be around the corner because i do not leave the house without wearing sunglasses um but i also haven't left the house a lot so it is what it is what can i say i'm a bit of a hermit at the moment and oh my goodness i think that is it for the video thank you so much for bearing with and sticking around to the end while i decide what i'm like doing with this at the moment don't forget to follow me on my social medias if you want to stay up to date with what i'm doing or any style inspo or just just to say hi comment down below your favorites from this video or your favorite summer 2023 trend don't forget to like and subscribe so you see more of my face hopefully maybe can we get back into the algorithms good books because boy am i gonna need it and i will hopefully see you guys in the next video very very soon so fingers fingers crossed for that one